Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy Thursday, coming at you with 2019-2020 Panini Optic Basketball. Donner's Optic Basketball, Mega Box Edition, random team break number two. At the end of the break, we're giving away eight spots in that Hit Parade Court Kings Mixer, which is coming up in a separate video, so look out for that. Um, no vet common ship in this, just a quick little uh, filler break. Always look out for those uh, giveaway breaks on jazbeescasebreaks.com where we give away spots. You can try to win a big spot for a fraction of the price, which is pretty nice. Big thanks to everybody here for getting in on the action. So we'll make you sweat it out a little bit. Let's do the break first. Three and a two, five times for names and teams. One, two, three, four, and fifth and final time. And obviously a different dice roll for the uh, Different dice roll for the randomizer giveaways. Three and a two, five times for the teams. One, two, three, four, and five. We got the Jazz all the way down to the Hornets. All right, so I'm not going to read off all these names, but there's the first half of the list right there. There's the second half of the list right here. There could be some surprises. Could be surprises in this little uh, mini box right here. You never know. Let's sort by column B. Now this is 1920, so we got uh, Joe P with the Pelicans, Brian with the Grizzlies. I mean, we've seen it happen before. All right, no trade windows here in this either. Oh, camera needs to be on. That'll help. Help with the break. There we go. We can maybe change the. Uh, so color looks a little too cool in the top there. Let's warm that up a little bit. There we go. Crank up the uh, brightness a little bit here. Make that top camera a little bit more, a little more bright. Looks good. Looks good. All right, let's roll with this. Um, speaking of Kyrie, right there, I'm which makes me think of the Boston Celtics, the team that he's former team that he beat. I think that something that kind of went under the radar is a, a lot of big changes for the Boston Celtics. What does everyone think about that? Do we have any Celtics fans here? So Danny Ainge is out as the GM, and head coach Brad Stevens is now like the GM basically, right? The president of basketball operations, so, so he'll be making a lot of moves which I thought was interesting because Brad Stevens, I don't know, may, 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 maybe, maybe we live in a world where we're seeing more younger executives in the front office, but I just thought Brad Stevens was, would be more interested in coaching. I don't think, I mean, he hasn't been, I guess he, he was coaching college for a long time. I feel like he hasn't really coached in the coached in the NBA for that long, and then now he's in the front office. Sorry, okay. Coaching is a grind. I can't I can't imagine how much of a grind that is to do that every day. But I just thought he would be doing some head coaching for a little bit longer, but I guess not. I don't know. Maybe if the front office thing doesn't work out, he's young enough to. Go back to being head coach again? Well, who knows? All right, some 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 solid rookies here. Darius Garland for Cleveland. Kobe White for the Bulls. Kobe White could be a nice bounce back candidate next year. There's Chris Paul OKC edition. Kobe White in my house. Justin thinks maybe Brad Stevens should have waited a day and took the Duke job instead. Well, the Duke job is going to the assistant coach. 
who has been there for a long time. I don't know if he. I don't know if that Duke job was even available for anybody, let alone Brad Stevens. All right, here are the pink hyper exclusives here. There's Seku Demboya. There's a rookie for the Pistons. That's going to be for Steve Wright. The other exclusive pack here. The big rookies here: CJ McCollum, Otto Porter Jr., Cat, Kyle Guy for the Kings, and Luke Kennard back there. Kings. It'll be for Brian Croft. Right, so nothing too crazy there, but really the whole point of this break is to see who's going to win those mixer spots. And again, the mixer's coming up in a separate video. Let's grab everyone's names from Taylor down to Brian. There's some new dice. There's a new list. Let's roll it. Let's randomize that list. Four and a three, seven times. So it's going to be top eight after seven. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. So there's seven right there, top eight. So from nine on down, oh, Joe P, sorry. Just on the outside looking in. Top eight though, so sad times for everybody here. I appreciate everybody giving this a shot. All right, only the top eight are gonna win, but I appreciate you trying. Congrats to the top eight. Happy times for Carl. Brian Watford, Raymond, Michael, Kevin, Oliver, Brian Croft, and Zach. Thanks to you for taking the risk, and congrats again. Mixer coming up in a separate video. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.